Hi there and welcome to another PSD Toots Spoon Fed Photoshop tutorial. I'm Gavin Steele and I'm going to be taking you through six quick and dirty Photoshop text effects from scratch. And we're going to be playing around with the quick goal text and we're just going to be using different layer styles to get this really cool effect. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to load up Photoshop. I've got a black background there. I'm going to add a new text layer. It's nice and big, 115 points. Uh, I'm going to type in a grey, so just change this to something like A3, A3, A3. Um, so in the top, we're going to type quick. And then we're going to click on our layer styles palette, which is just over here. So I'm going to double click on my layer. And then we're going to go through all of these different styles that we can apply. And there's quite a few that we're going to apply. So just start out with making sure you've got this initial section set up like I've got it here. So you've got blend mode set to normal, opacity set to 100, fill opacity 100, all the ticks in RGB, uh, knockout is none. And then just like I've got on the screen there. And the first actual layer style we're going to apply is going to be a drop shadow. So just check in the box, make sure you select the layer, and we're going to make sure you've got that set to multiply. And you can see that I've got some of mine already set in there. I've got multiply, the color black, okay, and I've got it set to 75%. Next thing you need to do is make sure the angle's on 120. You're going to use global light, and then we're going to change some of our distances down here. So make sure you change the distance to 1, leave the spread at 0, and finally change the size to 3. Okay, the next one we're going to add is going to be an inner shadow. So again, we just check the box, make sure you select the layer. With our inner shadow, we're going to change this to screen. We're going to make the color white. You're going to have a set to 75% opacity, an angle of 120, and we're going to just change the distance again to 0, 0, and 2. Okay, now we're going to add some shape to our text. I'll just move this out of the way so you can see what we're doing. So bevel and emboss, we're going to have an inner bevel, and we're going to make sure that we chisel hard. Okay, have that set to 351. We're going to have it in a downward direction and we're going to have the size, again, quite a large 16. Uh, zero for the soften. 120 degrees. Make sure you've got that set to 30. And then we're going to change some of these colors down the bottom. So we're going to change the highlight mode. And we're going to make that hard light. And we're going to change the color to a golden and yellow color. So that's going to be FFBB4F. Okay. And we're going to set that to 100%. We're going to leave the shadow mode on multiply and we're going to change the color to D4B738. And then click on OK. Right, the next one we're going to look at is the color overlay. We're going to leave that, sorry, we're not going to leave that. We're going to change that to multiply. We're going to make sure we've got a nice golden color here as well. So again, we're going to have FFE760. Click on OK. You can see we're starting to take shape over here. Make sure your opacity is set to 100. We're going to apply a gradient overlay. Now with the gradient overlay, make sure that's set to hard light. And then we're going to choose a gradient. Now you should have quite a few of these already made up. If not, you're just changing the colors. Down here you can add colors, change these colors and so on to get a gradient effect from left to right. Again, you can play around with the opacity at the end. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in, or I have loaded in, sorry, um, the gradient from the actual tutorial itself. Okay, you can get these files if you've got a Plus membership on the account. 
and you can see the gradient goes from a really light, let's have a look at the numbers on that, goes from D1CO91 all the way to a darker gold color of A37800 and then white towards the left hand side and a yellow color FFC544 to the right. So I've selected that, I just click on OK. Alright, so there's our gradient overlay. Make sure you've got that set to 100%. Okay, make sure you've got the gradient. Make sure it's on linear. 90 degrees is brilliant and 100%. Finally, we're going to add a stroke. Okay, now we don't want the stroke to be red, so we can change that color. We're going to go FFC956. And click on OK. Right, make sure you change the position to inside. The size needs to be 1. The blending mode is normal and an opacity of 85. Okay, so that's the top layer done. So we can just click on OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a bottom layer now to give it some depth, some shadow, and just to really finish off the technique. So I'm just going to copy by dragging onto a new layer, that layer, and this layer is going to go below real quick. I'm just going to call it Quick Back. Okay, and I'm going to double click on the layer, and I'm just going to reset all of these, like so. Now again, make sure your normal blending options are set to normal, and like I've got them on the screen, these should be the presets. And we're going to add a drop shadow. So again, make sure you tick it and have the actual checkbox selected. It's very easy sometimes just to click the checkbox and think that these are the controls for the actual style, but they're not. Make sure you've got that highlighted there. Make sure you've got it set to multiply and black. We're going to have a percentage of 27, 120 degrees on the angle, and then we're going to have a distance of 7, 0, and 2. And then we're going to add a bevel and emboss to this back shape. It's going to be an outer bevel. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be set to 100. It's going to be in the opposite direction. And we can change the size, lower that down to 4. And 0 is fine in there. Okay, make sure again the angle is in 120 degrees. Okay, the altitude is 30, that's fine. We're just going to change our gloss contour down here. We're going to choose this one right here. Okay, and that's the cone inverted. So just click on that and then click away. We're going to reset these to normal and we're going to make sure we've got the color set to FF. This time we're going to go D854. The bottom one's going to stay on multiply. We're just going to change the opacity of that right down to 15. This one stays, the shadow stays on multiply and the color changes to 4D 2F01 and then click on OK and set that right up to 100%. Finally we're going to add stroke layer and we're going to set that to 4 size of 4, we're going to have that centered, set on normal with the opacity up to 100% and then we're going to change the color to 381800 and click on OK, right and then click on OK. Now You've seen there's been a lot of changing of all the different colors and things like that. These are the presets that I've got from the website and they seem to work really, really well. But of course, if you want to play around with any of those colors, you can just double click right back on the layer styles 
and go in there and add your own yellows and your old, your own gold colours. Okay, we're just going to move this back quick gold text and we're just going to move it down and then to the right. Okay, you don't want to go too far otherwise you'll start to see some of the grey parts. But we're just moving that to give the text a little bit of depth. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Right, the next thing we need to do is add our gold along the bottom. And a really easy way of doing that is simply to start typing. So I can type in here gold. I can put that into, into place where I want it to go. So maybe, I don't know, that looks fine. And what we're going to do is, I'm just going to bring that up. I'm going to copy the layer style. So I just control click, come down here to copy the layer style, click on here, control click, and paste the layer style. And there you go, it's pasted the gold right on top. And again, I'm going to create a new text layer, and this is going to be the background for this gold. And just type in gold. Again, I'm going to copy my quick back layer styles and then I'm going to paste them into place. Okay, I can just move these layers about to position everything. And again, I'm just going to nudge these So we get the effect that we want. And that's how you create a quick gold text technique using PSD's brilliant tutorial by Collis. Thanks very much. I've been Gavin Steele and I hope you enjoyed this video.